Hey, welcome back to some Ark Valgero. We're here at the base again. Going to be doing a little bit more upgrading from some of the tech ingrams that we got. We didn't get the cloner made uh, at the last video. So I went ahead and got enough organic polymer ready. So we have just enough of everything to make one now. I'm wanting to go ahead and make one so that we can clone. I'm going to try to clone my spinos, my mutated spinos. So I need to go back in and do the alpha bat uh, boss battle again to get some more element because we are running extremely low. Yeah, we've only got uh, just over 200 left, 287. So we definitely need to get some more. I think uh, when I do the next uh, alpha battle, I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the pig in. Which do we need to move you, man? You are just in the way. Let's see how big this thing is. I was thinking about putting it either in the front yard or over here. Since we're not really using that, it's kind of wasted space. Holy crap. Dude, that thing is huge. Well, oh man, it goes through the roof too. Dude, that thing is massive. Yeah, I'd have to tear the whole top off if I put it out here. Which I don't want to do. Really don't want to do that. Maybe I could add on out here. Expand this. Nah, I don't want to do that really. Because it was really weird trying to build here. Nah, I tell you what. Why don't, we, why don't we build on the side over here. Let me turn on the, the range for the... For the generator to see how far it goes. I think it'll reach all the way out to the edge here, right? Yeah, out to that tree. Yeah, we should be able to put it right here. That way it'll be out of the way. Man, it's gonna take up that whole area. Holy crap. Yeah, I think we'll have to do a pillar foundation, just because it's so uneven. Because I don't think... I don't know how much of it needs to be touching the range for it to work. I mean, I could do it right here. Tell you what, first things first, we do need to get rid of some of these trees. I don't know how... I don't know if it just uses the generator power for the, uh, the cloning process, or what. I didn't know, I didn't know cloning was a thing. All right, tell you what, let's go ahead. Since we got those trees out of the way, let's load up the RG. I think we have some foundations, pillars, and ceilings already made. Or if anything, I can make some more. It's not a, not a big deal. Where's my bird at? All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Plenty of ceilings. Oh yeah, we got plenty of, of pillars, which... Oh, I'll tell you what. Too far away. <laughs> and then... Why have you got that? What have you been killing? Now let's grab... I think I had some foundations too, right? Six. <laughs> I think we'll... I think we'll just do it with pillars and ceilings. We've got plenty of those because I think I'm about out of stone from making all that cementy paste. Yeah, I need to go farm more for that. All right, that's fine. Pillars pillars and ceilings look fine after we drop some walls on them. Let's go ahead and leave this dude here. And we'll take some pillars out. I guess we'll kind of... I think they have to walk up on it, right? Let me take it out and look again. Yeah, it looks like they're going to have to walk up on it, so maybe we'll put it at an angle this way, right? Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and just start getting some, some pillars and stuff out. I think the main thing is we need to be on the ground here. Right? Look good? We'll go over this way as far as we can. Now 
And then I need to kind of see how big of an area. Make sure this comes out fine here. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Man, this thing is... I can't believe... I just can't get over how big this thing is. It's huge. So we're going to need to go out probably four more pillars that way. Man, I'm going to be right up on the water. Ugh. Yeah, let's go out five. Oh, I can't come this way. Yeah, I can. So I can't come this way anymore. That is a massive platform. Is that gonna be big enough? Yeah, that'll be fine. Awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ah, uh, should I do it? How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten, eleven, eleven. Eleven by eight. Why don't we just do one more and make it 12? Just so it's somewhat even. I don't know, man. Is that thing not? I don't know. I keep thinking it should be more square, but it is pretty wide. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these pillars down and throw some ceilings on. We can always add more, more pillars on if we have to. All right. So it looks like I got enough of the pillars set out. Make sure they're all in rows. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some more ceilings, I think, because, dude, that is a lot. That's a huge area. I'm hoping the whole thing doesn't need to be touching the, the power band from the generator. I think just part of it needs to. All right, well, here's a platform. It is getting towards night already. Let's go ahead and see, make sure it fits here. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than I needed, but that's fine. Better too big than too small. Uh, now the thing is placing it. I could actually almost put it this way. That way there's still some room to get up on, up and down on uh, the platform. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So this should be right around the middle, I think. Check it real quick. We can still pick it up. All right. Barely fits that way. Barely that way. Looks like we're, uh, looks like we're out of water. Looks pretty good, I think. Oh, it says unpowered. Ooh, that was almost a big, big mess up there. Actually, I think we're going to have to go ahead and do it this way. Just so that it's far enough over to, to hit the power. Are we powered? Okay, we're powered here. Dude, we're so sideways on this thing. Unpowered. I guess half of it has to be touching it. Dude, this is like... It's going to drive me nuts. Maybe I should have gone further over to the right. Alright, so we're powered here. Make sure it's somewhat centered. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Right? Yeah, we're good. I'll put out one more ceiling on the edge here to... Because I want to put a railing up. Just makes it look a little bit nicer. All right. Well, we have it up here. So what can you clone? Actually, let's grab a... Well, I'm going to finish this off. I need to make it so they can uh, get up and down. and put some stairs and stuff like that. It's almost... It's almost nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and finish making this look a little bit better and functional. And then we come back in the morning... We'll throw a, throw a Spino in here. Man, that thing is massive. Throw a Spino in and see what we need to do. All right, so we got it set up. It's still a little bit dark out. 
Morning's just rolling around. I think it turned out all right. I ended up taking off two or three wide of the uh, of the ceilings and stuff that we made it. But that's all right. I needed more stone for the... Ah, uh, there's the sun. <laughs> Another lovely Valgaro morning. But this is it. It's extremely large, but plenty of room to get around. Ooh, I've got a spinal egg here. Tell you what, man, I need to put a doorway in here. Go ahead and pick that up. Turn off mating on that. Alright, so we have one of the mutated spinos here. Let's go ahead and roll him up in there and see what it's going to cost or what we got to do to bone him. I'm hoping it just works with the... I guess you could get a get a Giga in here too, huh? That's probably why it's so big. E clone. Dude, it costs thirteen hundred shards to to clone him. Well, fourteen hundred or fourteen thousand. Oh man, dude. All right. So that's probably why we got the Ingram to unlock shards. I know on Extinction you can turn dust into shards and shards into sheets, but we didn't get the dust into shards, that's probably why. Dude, it's going to cost us 140 element just to clone him. Versus I could just take an egg and hatch it. <laughs> oh man, the, uh, the cost ratio. Well. I guess, uh, I guess let's go ahead and try it out. Dude, that is ridiculous. We need how much? 140, right? Oh, that's painful. Alright, let me go ahead and get this egg. Put in the fridge for right now. That's one of our mutated ones. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'll get another mutation off of them. The more mutations you get, I'm, I'm guessing the easier it'll be for that alpha battle. So we, we're really going to need some element here. Oh, I'm going to have to get the bird. That stuff's going to be way too heavy to carry. I guess if you're on regular servers where you can't adjust the rates and stuff, the time it takes to to breed gigas and spinos is a lot higher. So, uh, so, might be worth it. But for me, with boosted rates, oh, there's no way. Or boosted times, that is. That cost is just ridiculous. Alright, let's Go waste all of our element. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, I hope it just oh I hope it works out. Alright, let's leave him down here. Do the slow walk. Should have uh, put my tech pants on. I can move regular speed. All right, man. There we go. So seven and a half minutes to clone him. Do I do I leave him up there? The other thing I don't know. Or do I move him off? Dude, there's so many things I don't know. All right, we'll come back uh, in about seven minutes when this is almost done and see what happens with it. I'm just going to leave them there. I don't I don't think I need to put them somewhere else. We'll see. Well, I just left them in there the whole time. He's got just a couple minutes left, or a couple seconds left, I'm sorry. We'll see what happens. Oh, man. Dude, he just popped out right there. So is it the same gender and all? So, it looks like the stats... Wait, what? Why are the stats different? 
6,800, 480. Dude, it doesn't carry over the imprint bonus. Well, that just makes it totally not worth it at all. So now I got a dino that's not worth it at all. Man, dude, that sucks. I read something about you can't breed them either once they're cloned. Well, I think I just wasted 140 sheets of element. And now I'm stuck. Come on, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe... Maybe it'd be worth it if you're trying to, to breed something like a, a rock golem or something like that that you can't you can't get through normal breeding processes. Or wyverns. Well, no, you can do the wyvern. You get imprints on those. Huh. I don't know. I'm uh, kind of disappointed. Well, I mean, not really disappointed, but I thought it was going to be a little bit different than this. I thought it was going to be something you could put element in and, and clone it and keep all the stats and everything but I mean now we know it's uh, definitely a learning process I'm sure there's some use for it quite the build though and quite the, uh, the costs but we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one